All right, I'm gonna be making a video on the outs and the way we work them. So the outs for us, the way we train is motivational. This is how we started. So this dog, as you can tell, there is no conflict. The dog's not stressed. This is just an opportunity to regain the toy or regain the game. For a lot of people, outs mean game over, or it means you're about to get a hard, hard correction. Um, and that's not the way we want to train it. The way we want to train it is out just means a quick interruption and we get to play as soon as it's over. Let's look at this dog right here. She's intense. She's very, uh, uh, she's anticipating the game. And the thing about here too is about these clips is I'm not teaching the out. This is something the handlers have already done on their own. Um, and obviously they did this with some guidance from uh, from me, but the concept is teach the dog, teach your own dog. The out just means we're trading. Then after you do that for a while, we'll do it in the club with a decoy. And this is how you're seeing now with this dog. So she is doing it with the decoy for the first time. And we're only saying out one time. Uh, and also, as I'm playing with the dog, I'm pausing here and there because I don't want any cues to be misinterpreted. So here, this is a different dog. This is already a second session with this dog. I have another video in which I introduced the out with him. This is the second, so the following week, we're working on this. Uh, and now we're doing it on the jacket. So we start with the tug, then we go to the sleeve, and then we go to the jacket. Now in this particular case, the handler is playing with the dog, so the, 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 the exercise is still the same. Out means you're still having fun. It doesn't mean the end of the game. Uh, at some point, it's going to mean that. But for the introduction, I don't want it to mean that. If the introduction to the out is game over, then you're always going to have issues with the dog not wanting to out or outing dirty or creating some issues. Later, once the training gets much more progressed, then it will occasionally mean the game just has to end. Uh, so now we have Braun over here. Now he's on the full suit. This is the first time doing the out away from the back tie. And I, I want to reiterate again, this is something that the handler has taught the dog to do. Uh, I'm sim we're simply generalizing it here to a helper, to a decoy, but it's still the same thing. So we're going to say the out one time, and the dog gets to play with the handler. That's something I, I want. I want the dog to have a blast, and I want the handler to be equally important as the helper. I don't want the handler to be boring and then the helper or decoy to be the only fun playman on the field. That just leads to disregard and leads to the dog uh, not wanting to cooperate. So on this out, this is the first time we're doing the out with the decoy as a reward for this dog as opposed to the reward being the tug. Just something we're going to throw back and forth. We're going to occasionally do you get to play with the helper. Occasionally we're going to do you get to play with the decoy again. Um, but the body language in all these dogs is just what I'm looking for. This is my wife's dog, and in this out, same thing. She outs, no conflict, um, no um, no anticipation of a, of a butt kicking. This is my dog, Rust, and here you're going to see a, an out and return, which is a different type of out, but still an out. And as you can tell, we're still having fun. The excitement is there, and that's what we want with all the dogs.